Hey guys, my name is Emmy. I'm coming live from home and rehab at Claremont and today we're gonna go over some false risk management tips. So one thing to keep important and keep in mind is to keep yourself safe from falls is to make sure your home environment is safe too. So we're gonna go over a checklist. This is from the Centers of Disease Control or the CDC. They have a special task force called the Study Task Force that helps um, older adults and falls risk prevention. So they have these handy dandy pamphlets and we'll kind of go over things to look for around your house to make sure it's as safe as it can be. So we'll start off, we're gonna look at stairs and steps either indoors or outdoors. So the first one it asks us if there's any papers, shoes, books, or other objects in the stairs. So as we come forward, we see we have a bunch of items in the stairs. So we wanna make sure that these are all cleared out of the way so that when you are going up and down the stairs, you're not tripping over anything and things like that. So we'll put these out of the way. If you need any help from either your spouse, your caregiver, children, um, or anybody else, make sure to ask. We'll put those over here. And you also wanna make sure are any steps broken or uneven. Um, so anything that's loose, anything like that that can come up as you're coming up and trip over, you always wanna make sure um, that they're nice and sturdy so that you're not tripping over them. So as we're going up, want to see next question is if there is a light or a light switch at the top or the bottom of the stairs so up here we have a handy dandy light switch uh, we always want to make sure that it is working and available so that the stairs going up and down are well lit uh, the next one so coming down is are the handrails loose or broken so you want to make sure if your stairs uh, either outside or inside have handrails you shouldn't be loose where if you pull on it, it's gonna jiggle. You wanna make sure it's nice and firm so that when you do need something to hold on to, it doesn't move on you. And then as we come down, the last one says, is the carpet on the steps loose or torn? So if we had carpet like this, that's loose, that's no bueno. You wanna make sure if there's anything that's frayed or it's coming off, you wanna get it fixed um, so that you can not trip and decrease your falls risk. All right, so for the next part, we're going to take a look at how the floors look around the house. So we're going to pretend like we're walking inside. All right, so looking at our handy-dandy checklist, when we're walking through a room, do we have to walk around furniture? So as you see, it's not a clear path. So we want to make sure, especially if you're around the living room and things are, all the furniture is cramped up, you want to make sure there's enough space so that you have a clear pathway. And of course, if you need help from a caregiver, spouse, or uh, someone else, definitely ask for help. Uh, next in our checklist, do you have throw rugs on the floor? So the thing with rugs, as long as they're smooth on the floor and they don't catch, a lot of times they get loose and you may have an increased chance of tripping over them. Honestly, the best option is to try to get rid of them if you can, or if you can't, if they're a nice family possession, um, you can secure them with little tabs on the floor so that to make sure that they don't flip up. The next one, are there papers, shoes, books, or other objects on the floor? So as you see, we have books, we have the yoga mat. You want to make sure you get those out of the way. Make sure you have the clearest path that you can so you don't trip over anything. The next part, so we'll keep walking on the way. Do you have to walk over or around wires or cords? So anything near the computers, telephones, um, any electric equipment or anything like that. So we'll pretend like these are our cords. If you feel that you don't have to walk over them or anything like that, that is include that does increase your risk of a trip hazard. So you want to make sure you either clear them out the way as much as you can, or there are different ways to secure the wires down to make sure that they're not loose and you trip over them. All right, so the next part we're going to look over is going to be the bathroom um, in your home. So you want to make sure, first step, is to make sure is the tub or shower floor slippery. So we don't have a shower here, unfortunately, but making sure you put a non-slip rubber mat or self-stick strips on the floor so that it's it keeps a firm grip when you're stepping over it. As well as, if we come in, do we need do you need some support getting in and out of the tub or in and out of the toilet? So as we see here in this bathroom, we have nice grab bars. Um, so if you do need an extra assistance to be able to get up or sit down, there's something you can hold on to as well as showers and tubs have this option too, where you can install grab bars or even shower chairs or tub chairs to make it easier for you while you're doing your showers and baths. 